Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve each problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the first question. A messenger acid is 336 nucleotides long including the initiator and termination codons. The number of amino acid in the protein translated from this message RNA is, and you have to choose between these five answers. And if you are not sure which answer to choose, here is my explanation. As you remember, all the proteins are coded by uh, codons. Codons is three nucleotides, so imagine that uh, here we have uh, message RNA. And the first codon, of course, would be start codon. This is AUG. So here we would have A, U, and G. And um, next codon can be any, for example, this can be uh, leucine, for example, C, U, U. Next, it can be, uh, for example, serine. U, C, U, and uh, the last codon would be any of the stops codon. For example, it can be uh, U, A, and A. And as you see, each trinucleotide codes for the specific amino acid. For example, AUG or start codon at the same time this codes for the mesianin, so we can put mesianin here. And next codon, CUU, codes for the leucine, so leucine. And next codon, code for the uh, serine, that is UCU. Stop codon is not translated into the protein. So when ribosome reach this codon, ribosome stop translation because there is no such tRNA that would bring amino acid. And uh, as you see, there can be also other uh, stop codons, UAG and UGA. Now we are ready to solve our problem. So our formula would be simple. Number of nucleotides divided by 3, so we would find number of codons minus 1. So we have, uh, as you see, 336 codons, so 336 divided by 3 minus 1. So 336 divided by 3 would be 112, this would be number of codons but we have to exclude one codon that would code for the stop codon. So the answer would be 111 amino acids that we can find in the protein chain. And uh, you may also wonder, does every protein start with mesianin? And actually most of the proteins undergo post-translational modification. And first amino acid that is uh, mesianin usually would be removed, but because we don't have such an answer here, for example 110, we have to choose answer D. Primary polypeptide would have 111 amino acids, but of course uh, after uh, translational modification may change the number of amino acids. Uh, some amino acids can be removed and some can be added and some of the proteins may aggregate and may become a part of the bigger protein. For example, hemoglobin consists of the four protein chains. And next question, how many genetically unique types of gametes could be produced by an individual with a genotype that is capital R small r and capital Y capital Y. 
and uh, let me write down this genotype here so it is very easy to predict that number of the gametes would be 2 so this is would be the first variant capital R and capital Y and the second variant would be small r and capital Y but what if uh, the genotype would be for example capital A and small a capital B small b and uh, capital C capital C small d small d and for example capital E and small e and so on how you can uh, find a uh, number of possible variants actually this is very easy everything you have to know is a formula 2 raised n where n stands for the number of the heterozygotes so we have one heterozygote here and second and third so our answer here would be 2 raised 3 or 2 multiplied by 2 would be 4 multiplied by 2 would be 8 so 8 variant of the gametes possible here but in our example here the correct answer would be B and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video Goodbye.